There's something over here. Is there a big... Big boy, or...? Oh no, they're just above us. Okay, we're fine. Nope. <laughs> there, I just did a save state. I'm not losing all that progress. It's always the last door that works. Oh, this, I remember this from Silent Hill 1. This is Alessa's room. Got a brass key. That must be for the door all the way back in the church. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. Uh, no. Them. Last entry was written 17 years ago. Looks like Dad wrote this too. I like that. That's a really cool little touch. That the things that were save points in the first Silent Hill now show up again as basically notes that Harry wrote. Even in the same areas, even in the same rooms, I think. This one especially. Definitely. I'm not sure about the other one, but probably for the other one as well. Yeah, it's like the, the save was Harry writing down the story so far. Now, why Harry would do that exactly when there's nobody around, I don't know, but... It's still a cool detail. Scribblings on the floor here is Alessa's. For some reason, she always drew monsters like this when she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia, too. A nice daddy and mommy in a fun school. Happy world where everyone smiled and laughed all day long. In short, Everything we never had. My clothes from when I was seven. They don't fit me now. Good thing, too. I don't have time to wax nostalgic over these old clothes. Shelves are jammed with books. Top shelf has books on religious teachings and textbooks. Serious stuff. The other two shelves are full of fairy tale books like Oz and Alice. Here's Mother Goose and Cinderella. I used to love these. Yep, I remember that door putting the sword in it and all those four sigil things. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover here is a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? The door sure does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret is hidden out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You'll need five magic cards if you want to see. What to do then with all these? I'll tell you straight and I won't tease. Just as long as you say please. Now the first thing you must know is that there's something in each row. 
but that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground, to his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, full or crescent, floating high, twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency, praying to God most high, do you really think, uh, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Do you have it now? You didn't forget? One major point you must not omit. And now at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint to help keep you on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful. It's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. So you'll open the door? I'm just sure that there will be nothing beyond it but frightening peril. Forget about that. Just stay and play. Or else I'll be left here alone all day. So, I need more tarot cards to open this door. That's kind of funny. I think the end of the game is going to be here. Which means that the end of this game is also the same place that the first one ended. This was the very last thing I did before the final boss quote-unquote fight. It's odd though that the door is changed. Similar, but changed. You need different things to get in it. So I've got two tarot cards. I need, what was it, five? Yeah, you'll need five magic cards if you want to see. So I need three more. Still got a lot more to go. I... No, it wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful chapel, it was some other altar somewhere else. Okay, now I gotta get back without dying. I've got the key to that door. Oh, this is the other page of the map, the one that didn't have anything in it to start with. So another door on the right up here. I didn't even see it. Oh, wow. Anything in here of any use? There's a door. Where the hell am I now? Oh god, not the kid again. Where are you walking? Oh, this is telling me where to walk to not die. These are pressure plates. Is there, like, spikes over me or something? Or not? They didn't go all the way to the other side. Let's go slowly. Alessa's hospital bed. There's a picture here, but it's not my style at all. Are those a bunch more tapes? Maybe I can play the cassette here. Something stuck in this book. Tarot card? Yes. Three of five. I got the Fool tarot card. 
This book. Huh. I feel like I have to read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. Aglaophotus. Agla... Aglo... I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Aglaophotus? Aglaophotus? Aglaophotus. That's the drug, right? Yes. Red liquid or crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. Am I going to be using the red juice again? Oh! I just remembered something that I've forgotten for a very long time. Remember my necklace. Remember that I think there's some Agla photos inside. When I asked Dad what it was, he said, just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. Wonder why I feel sick inside when I look at it. Picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do. I was always like that back then. Oh, I thought these were cassettes. These are... Ampules! Wow, and it rains, it pours, huh? Literally no healing item for like a friggin' hour. And then I get two full heals. Thank fucking god. Ah. Oh. My controller has been vibrating constantly for like an hour. <laughs> As it does when you're low on health. Not that that's really horrible, but... It's more just the terror at knowing that literally any damage will kill me. 24 years ago, M Adalia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. I stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them. Because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. Oh, hello! Handgun bullets, handgun bullets. Looks like some kind of drug here, but there's just a name on the label, no description or anything. Too risky. Yep. Okay. So I think I'm. S Whoa. Big boy? That's a big boy. I think I'm safe to walk across here. I don't think I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh, I can't get to the other side. Thing in the way. Also, there's a creature in the doorway staring at me all weird like I'd like to look at it more, but big boy's gonna crush me. Alright, let's run back. Another big boy. Oh right, this fucking room. Take the elevator back up. Right, I've tried all these doors. Wait, what's that? Right there. Is that back the way I came? It is.
Okay. Glad I tried it. There's just enemies in almost every damn hallway. I just gotta constantly run. I mean, I know I have health now and I've got some ammo, but I really need to save it. I'm sure of it. Almost there. Almost there. Gonna have two big boys right here. Gonna have that thing in here. Oh, no, this this room's different. Holy shit. Wow, everything's getting really fucked. What the hell? Oh, I don't need to use the key, it should just use automatically. Yes, brass key. It's that school from the first Silent Hill. Midwitch something? Go home, drop dead, thief. Yeah, I remember that from the first one as well. I think? I think that was from the first Silent Hill, or it could have been earlier in this one. This used to be Alessa's. Uh, I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. Oh, some machine gun bullets. They're really loading me up with some serious damage. I'd like a few more healing items, though. There's a ratty old notebook on the podium. Uh, oops, and there's a letter stuck in here too. Let's see. There's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Most likely her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best just to watch and wait. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you first, my friend, for your opinion. Kay Gordon. That's a name we've seen before. Just one of the teachers here. And there's that old wolf picture! But this time in HD. This is a picture of a wolf. It looks like a dog, but it says wolf and everything, so... <laughs> it's gotta be a dog. Can I get around to the other side of it? Yes. There's a tape deck here. It looks perfectly usable. Well, I know exactly what that's going to be for. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron, 
to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so she has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but... Does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. Father Vincent. I think I assumed that they were maybe like a psychologist or something because we first met them in a room at that mental health clinic in Hilltop Center. But obviously not. What are these? Letters? No. Maybe a bunch of suggestions? People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in no place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there were some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? L.S. Ah, another healing item. I was really expecting a tarot card to be in here. Do I still have the tape? I do. Oh, we got a couple more doors. Okay. I was worried. I, I thought maybe this was the last door in the hallway. In which case, I would have no idea where to go. Oh, hi. Oh, it's a big room. I don't think it's worth trying to attack them. There's got to be something in this room. Okay, maybe I should. That was worth it. Oh wow, I'm red. Well, now I'm kind of low on healing items again. <laughs> I'm still doing pretty good on ammo, though. But yeah, I figured since I, I figure there's got to be something in this room, probably. And I don't want to miss it. I guess I'll just try everywhere on the wall. See if there's a door. That's where I came in, right? Yeah.
Please tell me there was a point to killing those enemies. Is there really nothing in here? I don't think there's anything in here. Priestess tarot card. Okay, that's four out of five. But where's the fifth? That is just four, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. There's an old birthday card on the desk. So she was still hanging on to this. To little Claudia, happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. Whoops. Accidentally mashed through that. November 10th. She didn't die then. She was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14th. Read the Book of Praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I'd been searching for in there. How to awaken God. But it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16th. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees and Young Slaves' Child Exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now, though. And that's what's hard. Wait, so whose diary is this? I can't get that description back. Well, the birthday card was to Claudia, so this must be Claudia's diary. So this diary actually says something pretty interesting about Claudia. So, Claudia wants to build paradise for the happiness of the people. Paradise is supposed to be this place where there's no fear, no pain, no hunger, no anything bad. Just, well, paradise. And then it goes on to say... Um, I read a modern history of refugees and young slaves, child exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. Can't do anything now, though, and that's what's hard. So it sounds like... I mean, like, this diary doesn't really track with what we've seen as Claudia... What we've seen of Claudia as a character. I mean, they've just been, like, such a... Mustache-twirling kind of villain. You know, evil priestess or something. That's how they've acted every time we've met them. But oh, what this diary seems to be telling us is that... They're doing this because they were frustrated with all the pain that they see in the world. And they believe that this can help people. Again, doesn't match what we've actually seen of Claudia in person, but... I guess that's their motivation. Okay. We have a problem. Where's the fifth tarot card? I've now completely explored this place that I've unlocked, and I only have four tarot cards. Well, I looked at the walkthrough once more, and just like I suspected, I missed the tarot card in one of the old rooms. The morgue, to be specific. Yeah. God, that's easy to miss if you don't move right into this corner, and I didn't. Because if you're back here, the way the camera is, like, you basically can't see it. That's rough. I took more damage on the way here, by the way, so... Now I have no healing items? Hanged Man Tarot Card. Alright, now I've got to remember 
where my room is. All right, I've gotten to the door. Let's go ahead and solve this puzzle. So I've got an MS Paint thing open here, and the door is a 3x3 three three grid of open spaces for the cards. These are our five cards over here on the left, the Eye of Night, the Fool, the Moon, the Hanged Man, and the High Priestess. So the first thing of significance in that little uh, helpful note that was left for us is the first thing you must know is that there's something in each row. So there's at least one in each one of these rows. Next part it says, the upside down man under the ground. To his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone though, his tears are profound. Okay, so for one of the rows, the upside down man is just alone. The upside down man, is that the hanged man? Yeah, look at that, the hanged man is upside down. So to his right, to his left, no one around, so there's no one else in the row, and they must be in the center. It says the upside down man under the ground, so it's probably the middle of bottom one, then? Is... I'm just gonna say hang... Beautiful writing. It's pretty hard to write with a mouse. Okay, next one. The moon is up above the sky, full or crescent, floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Okay, so at the very on the top row, there's the moon. So let's just, just write that here because I'm not sure exactly where it goes, but the moon is up here. Um sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. That must be the fool, so the fool must be below it. It does say the moon is up above the sky, but I don't think any of these cards have anything to do with the sky. I think we can, we can maybe ignore that part. Okay, next part. Your Excellency praying to God Most High. Do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Looking up at the night sky. Your Excellency. Your Excellency must be the High Priestess right? If the High Priestess is going to be looking up at something, then it's got to be in the second row. So we'll say Priestess goes here, and it's looking up at the night sky, so night must be up here, directly above it. I'll say uh, the moon is above the fool, right? Yeah, the moon is above the fool, and the night is above the priest. That narrows it down quite a bit, but not completely. I think there's more. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left, and you'll keep it in sight. That thing in the night must be the eye of night. So it's not on your right, and it says turn to the left, you'll keep it in sight. So that means the knight must go here. Which means the priest must be here. And then that means the... um. The fool and the moon must be either here and here, or here and here. Oh, that's pretty cool. They give you this little interface where you can grab all the cards and put them here without going in and out of menus a bunch of times. Okay, so beneath the Eye of Night is the priest, the priestess, high priestess to be exact. So now the moon is on top of the fool, which either goes... You know, let's just say that this thing is symmetrical. If we want this to be symmetrical, then this should be on the right-hand side. Aha! That feels good. Okay. Is this going to be the end of the game, like it was for the first one? Whew. Huge fan here, I can't get through. 
Jesus Christ, this place is terrifying.